talk. Don't forget to eat. Your father used to eat like a horse whenever he had to do farm chores. In fact, I made him a big batch of stew when he came to visit. Was it weird seeing Dad after all this time? Ah, he's still my boy. Always will be, even if he's in a temper. <laughs> he's stubborn, just like his pa. I... I'm glad he came. And I could tell he was too. Then now you're here, what could be better? you're helping Hazel with the farm. Are you, uh, planning to take it over one day? I still don't even know if I can make a single seed sprout. <laughs> Give it time. When my pa ran the bar, I used to make a mess every time I tried to help out. And look at me now. Juliet told me you said hello to her. Thank you. That girl is so shy. Well, teenagers have a lot going through their heads. It's no wonder some of them deal by just not talking. <laughs> Her father passing so unexpectedly hasn't helped. I can't believe you're married now. In my head, you're still 16. Believe me, I wonder every day about where the time's gone. Oh, if you have questions about the buildings on your farm, don't hesitate to ask Parker. He's the sweetest guy. I couldn't have asked for better.
such a pretty girl. farm life treating you so far i'm still figuring everything out well let me know if anyone ever repairs the entrance to the mine by your farm i run the jewelry shop but it's a bit hard making jewelry without actual jewels you know crafting beautiful pieces is one thing but sourcing the stones is tough i'll let you know like cool of you to come hang with hazel when i first took over my stall from the last owner hazel came and bought chocolate every day turns out she doesn't even like chocolate she just figured if other people saw her giving me business they would too well i do like chocolate so you will be seeing a lot of me too sweet farm are you inundated with chores yet there's not that much to do honestly the farm seems so much smaller now that i'm an adult hmm when i first came here i didn't think i'd have much work either but living things plants and people are always growing changing becoming more close now, head, no? and caring for them takes a lot of time my grandma but i don't know much about farming at all yep like i said not so easy hazel's got some of the best soil on the island shame for it to go to waste look city girl just water your plants and you'll do fine So it won't be long if he hasn't yet. <laughs> for Sophia. She likes to play matchmaker and you're too cute to resist setting up. Wait, how did you know I was single? Oh, honey, it's a small town. Oh, 
Okay, so I met everyone in town and reported back to Otto. So, is he super into keeping tabs on everyone? More than the last mayor, I guess. But strange things do happen here sometimes. Things you can't really explain. We gotta look out for one another. You look at that beauty. What, what would you, you like for your prize? I would like a shower. <laughs> nah, smelling like cut yeah. bait is part of the life. You'll get used to it. Speaking of bait, here's some more. I've given you three different kinds of bait. Give them all a try. They'll catch different fish in different water. Happy angling. <laughs> I sure wish Vanessa would pick a different profession. I, I think, think it's making her not like kids so much. And I want grandchildren someday. I remember how much fun you and Hazel had when you were small. I can't help but hope to have that too. This con it's in diamond. and you'll have a use for them in two shakes. Incantations or spells read aloud. They require vast amounts of magic and special ingredients at the time of writing them down and are consumed when read aloud. But they make incredible change to the world. A lot of the most powerful spells are incantations. Whoa. What do I need to do? I like your spirit. The next step is obvious. Time for you to go fishing. Wait, what? Ah, just any old fishing. You'll only catch what you need at the beach, which is south of Thomas's farm. You must catch me some squid. I've been hankering for calamari for days now. I thought you were teaching me to do these powerful spells. I am the best way I know how. Pay attention. Go get me those squid. Farseer. I'm sorry, what? Name's Farseer. I see. Far. Like you've got great vision? Visions. Right. Okay. Nice to meet you, Farseer. Yep. Ah, 
<laughs> hey, welcome to the Bad Lighting and Great Costumes Club. We meet every night. As you may have sensed, your grandmother doesn't believe in keeping our identity secret. It's a noble idea, but I've concluded that it isn't practical. You did a great job casting your incantation to get your wand branch. <clears throat> but actually writing incantations can be a touch trickier. Yes, I gathered that I have a lot to gather. It's not just that. When you write your incantation, you'll need to draw magic from the wellspring to charge it with power. Draw what from where? Didn't you notice the great big cauldron right by the circle? Yeah, but I just figured it was for extra big batches of potions. Oh, no. No, no. The Coven Cauldron is where we leave offerings for the Wellspring, the source of all magic here on the island. Our task as a Coven is to maintain the Wellspring. We cannot draw more energy from it than we put in. I wrote the incantation you read before the Elder Tree, drawing from my magic reserves, but to craft your initiation incantation you'll need your own go on and offer something to the wellspring over time you will learn that it likes some offerings more than others try different things and see what happens <laughs> Watch out for the journeyman. You're new and don't know better than to stay out of his schemes. magic from the wellspring than we need. Our offerings keep it in balance. What happens if it falls out of balance? Nothing for you to worry about, my dear. It is all of our responsibility to maintain the cauldron, and we've never failed in my lifetime. Just remember <coughs> to leave offerings regularly. Okay, I will. Good girl. Now, you'd better get to work on writing your first incantation. Cast any good incantation spells lately? Uh, no. Ugh, me either. I'm not very good at them. Potions, though. I'm a killer.
for bed? Yeah.